In this video, we're going to focus on how you can create a line chart and a bar chart here together. But then you can see here the values of this line chart here is quite low compared to a the volume here of the bar chart. And this is very similar to a stock market chart where you can see the price of the stock. And then we have here at the bottom, you can see here the volume of how many stocks has been sold. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to create a volume scale bar in a line chart in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need here is to go to Chart.js3.com, getting started. We're going to scroll down and get the default template. So once you're on here, scroll down and you can find this link as well in the description box. So then copy this entire chunk of code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. So put it in here and then I'm going to cut out this item here and put that in there. Save that, refresh, there we are. So now we have our nice bar chart and what I want to do next is I want to have uh, this converted into a line chart first. So I'm going to scroll down here, say here line, and to make this line very suitable, I'm going to say in here, the border width will be a line tension, a tension of 0 0.4 to make the elastic safe, refresh, there we are. So now we have this. The next thing what I want to do here is add up here another data set. And what I want here is to copy this entire item here. Copy this, put that in here, and then we can say here we can probably do a border width, and we can say border width here one pixel. And what I will do here is I will make sure that this has only a single color. So I'm going to select here the blackish color, which is the last color here. So this will be the volume. Now if I save this right now, refresh, you can see here, this is still a line chart. So I want to convert this first into a bar. So I'm going to say here, a type equals a bar chart. Save that, refresh, there we are. So now we have this, but of course, this is still not very suitable because this is equal to the scale here. So I don't want this. I need to detach them and I need to have this in different value because the volume, for example, in a stock market, you have maybe the price of the stock and you have the volume. So what we want to do here now is we have the volume set in. So how do we do that? Well, I need to create a new scale for this. So what I'm going to say here, I'll say here index access ID. And then here I'm going to indicate here the access ID. And in this case, that will be volume. Once we have this, and then what we're going to do here in the scales, I'm going to put a comma, say volume, and then here basically what we did here was create an object for the volume, and then we're going to assign it here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to indicate the type, and this will be a linear chart, comma, and we're going to position it from left side to the right side. So I'm going to say here right, although you could keep it in the left as well, but it doesn't matter. In this case, I would just say right is better, save that, refresh. So now we have this, but what I don't like here is the following. I don't want these uh, items here correctly. And I notice that it's not being recognized with our values of the bar. So probably I forgot here a proper name, uh, the index axis, let me check. So after I look, sorry, this should be the Y axis ID, not the index axis, that is something else. So the Y axis ID, volume. If I save this, refresh, there we are. So now we have this and we have these grid lines here exactly together. But what I want to do is I want to remove the grid lines for this item here. Let's give this first a different value. So we can imagine here we have far higher amount of value. Let's say 18 and let's make this 150. This will be 150 again. And this will be 119 volume. We have here 150 or 170, doesn't matter, anything. You want to do here and finally here we have one is 140 so if i save that refresh now we have slightly different numbers here but of course the bars are still surpassing this and i don't want that i want it to be here very low basically a part of a scale so how do we do this well i'm going to use here some tricks so put a comma here and i'm going to say here a minimum value by default always zero and a maximum value and i'm going to put it extremely high Let's say 1500. If I save that, refresh, there you are. Now we get slightly better design here. 
Then what I want to do is I want to remove these grid lines, remove these numbers here, and then what we could do then is extend the amount of values. So let's put in uh, more data points in here. So I'm going to copy this, paste that one, two, three, four, five, and six, and maybe seven. All right, seven times. So I'm going to duplicate that as well here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same here. Multiply this as well. Comma, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Save, refresh. All right, that looks slightly better, but and you can see here all the lines here are nicely down. But of course, let's remove this here, and then we're done. So I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to say a comma. And then what I'm going to say here, grid. And then we're going to say here, display equals false. Then we say another comma here, and we're going to say here, ticks. And we're going to say here, display. And this equals false as well. So if I save that, refresh, there we are. So now we have hidden these scale here but you can see here the value is still in here and eventually we could do still a lot more there's still a lot more we could do with it but this is one of the starting points here maybe we can hide the legend that's a nice one as well so let's go in here uh, after the scales i'll just do it there let's say you plug it bracket uh, and then not bracket but curly braces and then we're going to say here legend then we're going to say here display false save refresh there we are now we have our chart here it looks like a nice stock chart here so that's basically how to do this so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want for example colors this is very common uh, for a stock if it goes up or down we will color it in red or green if it's increasing or decreasing in that case i'm going to recommend you this specific video here on how to color the line chart based on the values in chart yes which will show you exactly what very common is in a stock market chart.